What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? And today I'm going to give you my initial thoughts about Mirage, Assassin's Creed Mirage, to be to be precise. And everyone has a right to be skeptical. Everyone has a right to be scared about this game. You there? What I truly job, think, right? why I think Mirage oh, yeah. is going to be successful Please. is because I, I thought Basim and Valhalla was a very interesting and mysterious type of character. And that's why I liked him quite a bit, actually. And so I really think that Mirage is going to... It's not just because it's an Assassin's Creed game. I think it has to do with the fact that it's going to be a game to where it's going to dive more into Basim's mysterious type of future. As a what? hidden one for in, and in the Assassin's Guild or Brotherhood. But however, I just think that Basim is a very interesting and provocative type of character. You know, I love his character story arc in Valhalla. It, like I said, it was mysterious and it was not really... I don't think it was groundbreaking, but it was really Freedom. interesting. And that's why I liked Basim You're quite a, a bit in Valhalla. Now, and that's where I believe Mirage is going to do Have something I that I think a lot of games, games don't always oh, normally do right. very well, in my personal opinion. No, you know, much like Ezio Auditore da Firenze uh, in Assassin's Creed 2, um, what did you dig up this time? it really did Show a really good job of its origin, of his origin story. You know, be, becoming that nobleman to master assassin at the see? end Everyone of his trilogy. But that was like one of the most amazing I and very intricate well-designed type of character progression and that's why i love Ezio's yes. trilogy a lot yes. it's one of the most interesting ones yes. i have ever My played you know ninja. from ac2 to dream. brotherhood and I revelation and so it's like i really think that mirage is going to do something like that you to a certain type us. of degree to where basim like is a street thief to to but he will eventually get into the hidden to. one or the hidden ones or yes. known as the assassin's it's brotherhood us, you know? and that sort of but thing it's and it's going to be so good and, and that's why i think that it's going to be it. successful because know, it's showing you the game so will show you that it will provide a little bit of deja vu for some people and to me, it feels like it's deja vu all over again from that from Assassin's Creed 2 when that was init initially launched or at when it got announced. Uh, same thing with with Assassin's Creed Origins. That's the way how I felt as well. And when Assassin's Creed Mirage got announced, I'm just like, oh my god, this is going to be amazing. I can't wait what this game is going to look like. And you know, with all the and then with all the the details from Game Informer and Joe Raptor on yeah. YouTube and you other YouTubers me? that were highly following Assassin's Creed yeah, Mirage. It just goes to show okay, you that there are the people office. out there that are very excited for this, this game. Like for as for me, I'm excited. I am I'm are more than serious? excited for this because okay. it's definitely one of my favorite it's definitely one of gonna be one of my favorite games of this year even though the game isn't, isn't out yet but i do it's believe it's going to be ring. absolutely amazing i love the way how the game looks and its final product yes. you know because yes. we've had details that coming from game informer not too long ago was. i think it was about a week ago if i can stand correct on that yeah that sounds about right but then that's where you know they showed off some final things of what the game is going to look like in its final form and i'm going to tell you right thing one thing right here right now is that it looks amazing to get him out of that the parkour is much faster than it initially showed from this year's ubisoft's forward in 2023 and not just that is the fact that i'm very i'm very heavily invested as to what the combat's going to look like but i think the combat is going to be very I think it's going to be very, it's very lightly focused because the main focus for Mirage is going to be more stealth, you know, they are bringing back black box missions back from that from Assassin's Creed Valhalla from one of its expansions, and I did thoroughly enjoy that, but it looks like the black box missions in Mirage is going to be very attention to detail in terms of, you know, like, do not take any type of damage or there, there are going to be some prerequisites to that type of mission or that black box mission and that's what's gonna be really cool about that as well and that's why i'm really looking forward as to where this game is gonna go and it's it's interesting to know that i really think that mirage is just gonna do something that it's going to be not just amazing i really think i love the utilization of its mechanics when it came when it comes to the parkour or when it comes to the tools that you will be able to provide 
and utilize Basim to his utmost as being the hidden one. You know, having that rank system from novice to apprentice to master. And that's where I was saying, you know, because <laughs> it's funny though too, because I actually ended up coming to a comparison a little bit here, if I if I may be so bold, is that when it comes to a not Assassin's Creed, but when it comes to Elder Scrolls for Oblivion, you know, especially when you're playing in the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild, they had a ranking system for those type of factions. Hey, you know, the, you had you had a they were it was really robust and very well intricately well designed and and its productivity of that faction and and that's where i was saying that i love the way how they're doing a little bit of that ranking system per se a little bit in mirage and i really think that in mirage is going to utilize that to to where it's going to you that ranking system a little bit from apprentice to master assassin or before apprentice it, there is going to be a little bit of a i wouldn't say a level gate there is going to be a little bit of a type of ranking system involved on not just with Basim but with each different types of uh areas of the game you know within the map it's going to be highlighted to that specific type of rank you know this master assassin or so apprentice doctor. or novice each ring. part of the world of baghdad is going to be tailored to what Bassin's rank is going to be. And I love that. I love that type of ranking Wait. system, and I think that's great. I really you think that it's going to be amazing. I, I love that. I think it's one of the most important things I've seen in an Assassin's Creed game, because with Odyssey and Valhalla, even Origins for that matter, is that Valhalla had a power system. Odyssey didn't have a power system. It had a leveling system, much like Origins did. And what I will say is that Origins did actually a better job with its leveling system than it did in Odyssey because in Odyssey, to me, it felt like it was absolutely atrocious. I, I did not like the leveling system very much in Odyssey. It was way too much, and I felt like when it came to Origins, it was not too much as it was in, in Odyssey because let me explain why. Is that when it came to the leveling system in origins like it felt more organic up. it felt more not us. really realistic or lifelike but it was more organic because each mission uh, that you do no whether if it's the story missions uh, or whether if it's the side uh, stuff uh, there was there was some really good uh, meaning uh, to that and that's where too. i think mirage is going to be something like that from what origins does in terms mm. of its world building its side questing to a certain degree or world events that sort of thing and that's why I think Mirage is going to be a much better title from the RPG AC Whoa. games that we have, right? But I'm just, I'm just putting myself out there. You know, I'm just giving my own perspective and opinions of what I truly think, why I think Whoa. Mirage is going to be a game to where, like, we've always been wanting for the past few years from the AC yeah. role-playing games. And so that's where I'm saying it's like I love the fact that... that you know, the parkour system is back, you know, like I mentioned before, and it, it's a lot faster than it initially showed from this year's Ubisoft 2023 uh, forward. Oh, and last. so it's like, I, what, I will, I'm, what I'm trying to get to is that I'm thoroughly Time impressed, man. I'm very thoroughly impressed as to where this game is going to go. And it's just, I really think that Mirage is going to just be one of those games of this year. I mean, it's not going to be a big title. It's a big title for Ubisoft, but it's not going to be a big title for most people out there, especially the fans, because, you know, it. this game was actually supposed to be a DLC for Valhalla. I think a lot of people already knew that, but let me put some... Listen, let me put some knowledge out there. <laughs> so that's why I feel like I think Mirage is going to be something that it's not just because that I'm looking forward to it. It's not just because of the fact that a lot of people are else looking forward to it. It's the fact that it's going to be a game a lot of people really want to play. And so I think a lot of people already knew this, though, too. But the reason why they pushed the release date for Assassin's Creed Mirage to October 5th and October 12th is because they did not want to have the release of Mirage coincide or locked to coincide along with Spider-Man 2, which is coming out October 20th. So I believe that's the reason why... that Actually, I think that is the reason why they push it up to October 5th because it's like, you know... Because a lot of people, whether if you're a PlayStation fan or Xbox fan, especially for PlayStation, 
a lot of people were anticipating to play Spider-Man 2. So it's to be expected or it's to be understandable. So, But that's just my own personal opinion, of course. So that's why I think that within, within the world of Mirage, I think it's really, it's its backdrop. I love the world of what Baghdad looks like in this game. It looks absolutely vibrant. Now, there is one thing I really want to put in here, though, too. I really think that Mirage really takes the cake when in terms of its, not just of its world building, but it, it feels to me that it's very much similar to what Origins does. I really think, because if you watch the video very carefully, I've watched the demo very carefully more than five times now, recently, not recently, but in the past few weeks or so, is that... Mirage and Origins really share a really kind of interesting commonality when it comes to its robustness of its world building and and how the intricate design of the, these two worlds are. And that's where I feel like that with Baghdad, it feels like Origins in a certain way because not just because of its world. It has to do with that each part of the district in Baghdad, which I should have mentioned before, so my apologies is that each district in Baghdad kind of makes it interesting or or similar to what Origins does. I didn't feel like that when it came to Odyssey or Valhalla at all because I, when it came to Valhalla, that game was more... It, I mean, yes, there were cities that you were able to explore and all that, but it didn't have that type of feeling as I had felt when it came to Origins. Because Origins to me it is always my favorite AC games when it came to when it come to its role playing mechanics of these three games, but that's where I feel like that Origins just I feel Origins is a much stronger title, and the reason why I'm putting this in this video other than you know talking about Assassin's Creed Mirage because like I said Assassin's Creed Mirage share shares some similarities to Origins rather than to Odyssey and Valhalla, and I think that's just me. Or my personal opinion on that. So, if you think that I'm wrong, by all means, tell me if I'm wrong. It, it, it is what it is. So, that's why I think that Mirage is going to be very successful. It's going to be successful with its story. Like I said, I really want to know what the whole entire story is about Basim. How mysterious, what kind of a character he is. How his story is going to play out as a hidden one from a street thief. And... Like I said, when it came to Assassin's Creed 2, it's the origin story. I love a really good origin story, and I think that's where I think that's where Mirage is going to be really good and very well told to a, from another origin story perspective. I really think that. I really, really do. And you can hear it in my voice of how passionate I am. I am very passionate when it comes to any kind of game that has like an origin story but i think when it comes to an assassin's creed per se this is why i like touching on assassin's creed games more so than anything else is because these games are just absolutely fascinating i love the fact that where these games have have come and how far they have grown or how far they have come in terms of its stories how where these games are going to go in future titles with its backdrops and you know the descendants of a, of a player that you already know, like Layla from Origins and Valhalla and Odyssey, and it's fascinating. I think it's one of the most interesting and very intricately well designed of a character like Layla. I think Layla was a pretty interesting character. I she was okay, but she was interesting as well. But that's where I believe that when it came to the from when it came to the first one from Assassin's Creed One back in 2007, it's like you know you have Desmond Miles, and so it's like when when they killed him off in three, I was very disappointed. I, I I'm just like I'm like what the fuck is this all about? It's like why are they killing him off? Because I thought Desmond Miles was a great character. I really enjoyed him as a great character, and so that's why. I mean each character or each player that you play in, in each Assassin's Creed game they all have their unique stories they 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 tell you what kind of a story they have behind them or their backstory and everything and that's why I think that these games are very absolutely amazing in my book I I will never stop I will never stop get or never or I will never give up playing Assassin's Creed games as long as I live because I do believe that some of these games do have a good place in anybody fan in any fan's heart i really do because 
A lot of people really greatly appreciate these. I, for one, greatly appreciate these games. And it just goes to show you that, you know, why I think Assassin's Creed games, they will never die. I mean, even though that a lot of people are not really disappointed, but I would say are very just like, are tired out from them and they don't want anything to do with them. And so, but what I'm saying here is that I just think Mirage is going to be a breath of fresh air. I really do. And that's why I think Mirage is going to be very successful because in so many aspects. And I just think that I really do think it's going to help Ubisoft. I mean, if, you, and here, here's my prediction here though, too, for Mirage. I think Mirage is going to score between B. In my personal opinion, it's going to score between around in the eighties. I don't think it's going to be around the 70s or 60s. I do believe it's going to be around in the mid 80s or close to the 90s. I thoroughly believe that because I believe that when it comes to any kind of game out there, there's always going to be a different type of reviewing review rating from any kind of outlet. Whether it's Game Informer, Kotaku, Polygon, IGN, all these people. But like I said, it is what it is, and I'm just really looking forward to Mirage. So... I just want to put this out there real quick, too. So, anyways, this is Jake from Citizen JV. Thank you for tuning in. Greatly appreciate it. But if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section below. Be more than happy to reply back if and whenever possible. And you guys have a good rest of your weekend. See you guys later. Peace. If Egypt was filled with men of your virtue, life would be divine. Faith is virtue.